Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be covering some of the coolest agricultural giants on the market and seeing how they perform. If you enjoy the video, make sure to give us a like and comment about your favorite machine. Ever since 2004, Fond Trackway has been setting incredible examples of how temporary access solutions to a wide range of industries, including military, emergency services, construction, and utilities, should be. Portable roadway systems, helicopter landing pads, pedestrian access solutions, and maritime access solutions are all part of the Fond Trackway product line. The company's products are made to enable vehicles and pedestrians to function in terrain that would otherwise be inaccessible by providing safe and secure access. The modular architecture of Fond Trackway's products, which enables quick and simple deployment in a variety of locations, is one of their primary characteristics. The company's products are also made to be extremely strong and resistant to damage, making them perfect for usage in demanding and difficult circumstances. A multi-purpose vehicle created for amphibious operations, the M3 Amphibious Rig can be used for both military and civilian purposes. Its fundamental characteristics make it the perfect platform for traversing rivers and other bodies of water because it can function on both land and water. The M3 also has excellent mobility thanks to its 6x6 all-wheel drive which enables it to travel over obstacles that are up to 60 inches high and across challenging terrains including dirt, sand, and steep inclines. The M3's modular architecture also permits simple customization for jobs including cargo delivery, bridge building, and mine removal. The vehicle has armor protection as an added benefit to shield occupants from small arms fire, shrapnel, and other battlefield dangers. The M3 is also self-deployable, extremely transportable, and simple to deploy. It can be moved by truck, airplane, or ship without the need for extra equipment. Here we have an amphibious vehicle, the Paddle Boat Ship Tank Truck. Maybe not the catchiest name, but an impressive vehicle. The term amphibious vehicle refers to a vehicle type that can traverse both on land and water. In order to transition effectively between these two environments, these vehicles frequently use wheels or tracks for land mobility and propellers or water jets for water travel. Military operations, search and rescue operations, transportation, and leisure activities have all involved the employment of amphibious vehicles. A custom-built amphibious vehicle known as the Toyo Tires Ferret was developed by Australian off-road racing champion Brad Gallard in conjunction with Toyo Tires. It was constructed to take part in the rigorous off-road endurance race known as the 2019 Fink Desert Race, which takes place in the Australian Outback. The Ferret is a unique vehicle that can manage both on- and off-road terrain by fusing parts of a buggy jet ski and hovercraft. It sports a body made of fiberglass, a lightweight aluminum chassis, and a 3.5 liter V6 engine with 450 horsepower. The Ferret's capacity to hover over water utilizing a fan propulsion system, enabling it to move across shallow water and marshy terrain, is one of its distinguishing characteristics. The Ferret also includes an innovative suspension system and four-wheel drive for navigating challenging off-road terrain. The Toyo Tires Ferret is an amazing illustration of specialized car engineering and cutting-edge design all around. The BRDM is an amphibious armored vehicle that was developed by the Soviet Union and first made its appearance in the late 1950s. It was made to be a patrol and reconnaissance vehicle that could go over land and water. With a sloping front end and a lofty turret that houses a machine gun or other weapon system, the BRDM has a striking shape. 
it is normally mounted with a 14.5mm heavy machine gun. But some variations have also been given other weaponry, such as anti-tank guided missiles. The car's amphibious propulsion technology and four-wheel drive system enable it to go quickly across water. Two water jets are positioned at the back of the vehicle and can be used to drive it through the water. Due to its adaptability, toughness, and ease of maintenance, the BRDM has grown to be a preferred vehicle for forces all over the world. The vehicle has been used in battle in numerous conflicts throughout the world, such as the Gulf War, the Vietnam War, and the Gulf of Aden piracy crisis. The Russian word Vitis means night in English. True to its name, the Russian company Vitis created the DT-30 all-terrain vehicle, specifically for usage in harsh settings. Along with commercial uses like mining and oil exploration, it is frequently utilized by the Russian military. Because the DT-30 is an articulated tracked vehicle, two independent units are joined together by a flexible joint. As a result, the vehicle can easily and steadily traverse challenging terrains, such as heavy snow and marshes. The vehicle's top speed is about 60 km an hour, and it can transport up to 10 tons of goods or equipment. It has an 800-liter fuel capacity and is propelled by a diesel engine. The Arctic, deserts, and mountains are just a few of the harsh settings where the DT-30 has been deployed. It is extremely adaptable and valuable in harsh and remote situations because of its capacity to function in extreme temperatures and over challenging terrain. The design and production of track construction equipment for railroads is the area of expertise of the Swiss business Matiza. A variety of track construction trains are produced by the company and are used all over the world to develop and repair railroad tracks. The Matisse track construction trains are made up of a number of specialist vehicles that cooperate to carry out a range of duties linked to track building and maintenance. These include, among others, ballast cleaning equipment, rail tamping equipment, sleeper laying equipment, and ballast compacting equipment. One of the main benefits of the Matisse track construction trains is its modular architecture, which enables clients to tailor the trains to their own requirements. Since each train may be tailored to carry out particular jobs, efficiency is increased and expenses are decreased. Next on the list is this screw-propelled vehicle. A class of amphibious vehicle known as screw-propelled vehicle use auger-like screws to move through both water and land. The first designs for steam-powered screw-driven vehicles appeared in the middle of the 19th century. Since then, more modern designs have been created. Self-propelled vehicles have been utilized for military purposes, exploration, and other specialized functions in recent times. In places like swamps, marshes, and narrow canals, where conventional vehicles cannot function well, they are especially helpful. Bales of hay or straw can be wrapped in plastic film using a bale wrapper like the Tenko A200 to preserve the forage and shield it from the elements. Tenko Auto Wrap, an Irish business that specializes in the design and development of agricultural machinery, is the company that makes the machine. The A200 is a trailed bale wrapper, meaning that it is propelled by a hydraulic system and is pulled by a tractor. The device has a revolving arm that raises the bale onto a turntable, rotates it, and wraps it in plastic film while it does so. Next, the machine ejects the wrapped bale which can now be stored for later use. The Tenko A200's simplicity of use and effectiveness are two of its main benefits. Depending on the size of the bales and the needed number of layers of plastic film, the machine may wrap up to 60 bales every hour. 
Additionally, it has an automatic cut and tie mechanism that gets rid of the necessity for manual film cutting and tying. The United States owns the research platform known as the r p flip This is short for Floating Instrument Platform. Scripps Institution of Oceanography is the operating entity for the Office of Naval Research. Its purpose was to investigate wave height, acoustic signals, water temperature, water density, and air-sea interaction. The distinctive quality of r p flip is its ability to be turned 90 degrees from its horizontal posture to a vertical position, leaving 55 feet of the ship below the water and 55 above. This makes it possible to collect steady readings below the ocean's surface. The 1962-built r p flip has been employed in numerous scientific projects over the years. It has a crew of up to 5 people and is 355 feet long. The platform is towed to the research site, where it rotates into a vertical position by being partially submerged. The depth of the platform is managed by a system of ballast tanks, allowing it to operate between 300 and 1,000 feet below the surface. Research on subjects like ocean acoustics, marine biology, and climate change have made use of the flip. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.